In the last tutorial, I showed you how to use a screw to attach this sprocket assembly to the shaft of a DC motor. Now if we look at a cross section here, you can see that our screw is just biting into the flat of the shaft, as you can see. I want to show you a different method here, so I'm going to hide our previous design. And I'm going to show you a new piece I'm going to use. And this is a heat set 1032 insert for plastic. And as you could see, it's floating above the shaft flat. And this insert sits inside of our bore. So if I do a cross section here, you'll notice that the insert sits inside of this um, cutout and it sits above the flat of the shaft and the reason is because there's another piece to this puzzle it is this um, threaded insert here and so I could show that a little bit more clearly um, if I hide everything except just this set screw. So the set screw, as you can see, is in contact and putting pressure on the flat of the shaft. And this set screw has a cup end. Now the reason it has a cup end is because if you look very closely inside here, it has a concave to it, which gives it a nice sharp edge. So if I hide the motor, you can actually see this. See how it has a sharp edge to it here? That sharp edge is digging into our motor shaft. And let me unhide the heat set insert. And you can see that that um, engulfs it, of course, because the set screw threads into the insert. And the insert is above the shaft flat. And if I unhide our bore, you'll see that the insert sits inside the bore. So if I show that analysis section again, you can see exactly how it all kind of stacks up. And this is better than our Plastite screw because it's going to allow for more pressure and more adjustability if this loosens. It will be able to be uh, retightened if necessary.